Hi guys, it's Miss V here, and today we are going to draw a grasshopper. Grasshoppers are really cool because they are one of the bigger insects. They start off like really tiny, like a baby, but then they get can get really big. Um, here's some of pictures of them behind me in case you've never seen one before. You usually find them in the grass, um, and they can jump pretty high. Um, they also have a relative that is close to them, um, that looks like them, which would be the cricket. Um, I think that they sing a little bit differently, and the crickets are usually uh, more brown or darker, but the grasshoppers can also be brown. So they're really cool because they can jump really high. Um, I've, I've caught one before, but it didn't bite me. Only if mom and dad let you, you can catch one at home, okay? Okay, so let's get started with our drawing. So go ahead and get your paper ready, your markers, pencils, colors, pens, colored pencils, um, whatever you want to use, and let's get started. I'm going to let's see, start the video so we can get started. All right, looks like he's drawing eyes. Let me see here. Okay, so I'm going to do my paper long ways because the grasshopper is kind of long. And I'm going to start on this side towards the top, not all the way up, but middle top. So I'm going to get my black marker so you can see what I'm doing. And let's get started. So it looks like they are drawing our grasshopper and they did his eyes first. So they just did little circles. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm going to do a small circle here and a small circle kind of a little bit underneath it. Like you can see here in the video, let me use my mouse so you can see that they're not right next to each other, but one's a little bit lower. So I'm gonna do the same thing. And then it looks like they already started coloring in to make their eyeballs. Um, so you can do a C just like that in your circle. You can see that. And I'm going to do another one over here. And then I'm just going to color it in like they did. So you're going to color in your C. It looks like you just have a pair of eyes looking at you. And then it looks like they've already made the head of the grasshopper cert grass hopper and it looks like an oval so we're just going to draw an oval to fit our eyes in okay so i'm going to come around and just do an oval kind of looks like this and as you can tell my grasshopper doesn't look like the one in the video and if yours doesn't look exactly like mine that is still okay because we are trying our best And it looks like they made the antennas. So by now we should be pretty good at making antennas with all the bugs we've been drawing. So we are going to, I'm gonna pause it here. So they made the antennas coming out of the top of the head, almost like you're making a C. If you wanna make them straight, like a straight line to make the antennas, that's totally fine. I'm gonna make mine a little bit curved. So like I'm drawing a backwards C and then I'm gonna do a circle at the top, tiny circle. I'm going to do another one because they have two antennas and I'm going to do another little circle just like that. And the person here in the video gave the grass officer hopper a smile. So it's a tongue twister for Miss B. So I'm going to do a little smile too. He's a happy grasshopper. He's probably hopping all over the place. There we go. So now let's see what else we're going to do. Looks like they're starting to make the, what part of the insect is that? We have the head, we have the, the, the thorax. If you said thorax, you are right. Okay, so they're going a little bit faster. Looks like they're making either wings or, or the strong legs that a grasshopper has because it hops really high. But we're gonna go ahead and do the next part of the body and it's gonna be a, like you're gonna draw an oval. She's gonna curve it over a small rainbow you can do like a belly underneath too. So an upside down rainbow like this, but you're gonna leave it open. And we're leaving it open because we're drawing that big oval next to it. So I'm going to 
draw the long oval that they made. And if this is not perfect, that is okay. Remember, we are trying our best. We are getting our hand muscles strong. So look how mine does not look exactly like theirs. And that's okay. My grasshopper's still smiling. He's happy no matter what he looks like. So I'm gonna make another one coming out this way. You're going towards the head. And it's gonna go out this way. There we go. Let's see what else we're gonna do. Ooh, they're adding those other legs. How many legs does an insect have? Do you remember? Six. You are right. So it looks like you did little legs underneath. So we are going to do one coming down and another coming down. And then I'm going to give him little shoes and color those in. Just little oval circles. Just color those in. You guys are doing so awesome. Can't wait to see. Now it looks like he's drawing what is the shape of a banana in the back. I don't know. So let's do that. Let's do like we're drawing a, almost like a banana shape. So it's going to curve up a little bit like a boat. And then you're gonna leave a tiny space. I'm just gonna measure my little finger right there. Oh, about that much space. Up, and then I'm gonna come around. And it looks like I'm here that it doesn't go all the way to the ground. Well, we'll see. So I'm gonna come back around. I'm gonna leave that little space again. And I'm gonna come to here. It doesn't look perfect, but he's still happy. And then they have this thin part right here that comes from the leg. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm going to draw like an oval, a long skinny oval. coming from the leg. And remember, if it doesn't look perfect, that is okay. We are just doing our best. Oh. Looks like he has another shoe there. I like the music. Okay, so he gave it a backward shoe. So what you wanna do is go to make a straight line backwards like this, and then you can just color it in. Curve around like a small rainbow and do that. Ooh, let me go back to that. There we go. So all he did next is just draw a line to come around from the top and then around back. And then we have our grasshoppers. It looks, looks pretty close. All right, so now I'm gonna color it. Oh, first we're gonna write grasshopper and then we can color. Let's practice our uh, letter sounds and sounding out words. Grass, grass, grass is letter G. So let's do a capital G. And I'm gonna do it at the bottom here. And that's gonna be like we're making a C. And then we're gonna come up and in. Very good. Gr, gr, er, er is R, awesome. So short stick, half a rainbow. Ah, ah, ah is letter A, very good. So do a circle and then a stick. What makes the s, s? It's letter S. So we're gonna do squiggle and squiggle, and then squiggle and squiggle, because there's two S's. So we have grass, ha, 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 is H. So we're gonna do long stick, come up and rainbow to the ground. Ha, 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 ha is O. So just do a circle. is P, so my P won't fit all the way back down here, so it's gonna look a little bit like a capital P. So I'm gonna do a long stick, 
and do half a circle on top. And there's actually two in grasshopper, so I'm gonna do another one and half a circle. Hop, 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 er, 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 er. So our next little letter is being sneaky because he's not saying his name and he's not saying his sound. And it's sneaky little E. And we're going to do a lowercase E, which is a stick out and come around like a circle and then hop er, er, er is R. So I'm gonna do short stick and half a rainbow. And we just saw grasshopper. Good job, guys. Kiss your brain. And then pat yourself on the back because you are so awesome. Now it's time to color your grasshopper. See our green, but sometimes they are different colors. So if you wanna do um, different colors for your grasshopper, that is awesome. And I can't wait to see it posted in the classroom. I'm sure you did an awesome job. Can't wait to see them. See you later. Bye.